just talk into yours. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Sunlight, where today we're going to be having a look at Oasis, aren't we, Jamie? We are. We I are. like Oasis. You do like and Oasis. I think it'd be quite fun. We have a lot of uh, hollow-bodied Epiphones in the shop, and I thought that would be good for a video. But then we thought, well, we've also got a lot of Gibson ones, and it'd be quite fun. They would really be fun. So you're thinking about checking out the full range, almost a full range of Oasis appropriate guitars that we have in Oasis store at Fair Deal. Yeah, exactly that. Oasis appropriate. I think it'd be quite fun. Um, so we should have a look at that now. Hello, everybody. Um, you join me in our new part of the wall we've been working on for the past few weeks, where we've got lots of our second hand gear. Harry's on the camera because uh, Tom is too busy lifting all of our stuff to help us. Lazy. Um, so yeah, we just we're can't gonna, get the staff. We're going to do it ourselves. So um, here we are. I'm going to directly take you to the Epiphone bit of the wall because that seems appropriate. We've got a casino, very John Lennon. We've got lots of Les Pauls and we've got lots of hollow body things. I think if you're a kid starting out, Epiphones are fantastic. Um, as are Squires in the same sort of league that if you're a Jimi Hendrix fan, you'd get a Squire Strat. And Epiphone Les Paul was my first guitar. There you so go. So it gets my seal of approval. There you go. Um, basically, I think if you were going to fill in for like rhythm guitar for Oasis, you'd be on something like this. Sometimes Noel used one like that. There's a really good photo from the 90s. If you can find it, leave us the link somewhere down there in the comments of him playing this I'll exact it, guitar. And if I can find it, I'll put it in the edit. There we go. Here. At this point. There is one of him playing one of these very similar. It even says Epiphone by Gibson on there. So that wow. is what that is. Um, yeah, but I really want to take you to this wall because it's the fun wall. Oh, Have I'm a look scared. at there, Harry. Can we twilt, twilt the camera, tilt twilt. the camera? Twilt. There we go. Look at all of those amazing 335s. Here's my face. No. Just, just the guitars, that's the important shot. There we go. There you go. Um, the reason I went for the red one is because it's red. My personal favourite in the shop would be this 63 reissue that we've got, which I think is lovely. But Noel, granted he has been in the shop a couple of times back in the Musical Exchanges days um, when Gaz Chapman was famous. Um, he did come in, he bought lots of those sort of things, bespoke beautiful things. But in the early days of Oasis, he really did play an Epiphone through a crappy, don't know if I'm allowed to say that, amp, and it was just very driven, big, fat a, oasis a, sound. An un, ungood amp. That's all it was. It's council estate music that turned into rich estate music. And private estate music. Private estate music. Private estate music. There we go. Ban the establishment. So let's go and have a look at um, what do we look at. So Jamie, we've gone for these two. I've got a, a, a Gibson uh, 335 here. What have you got? I have a Gibson 335 from 1969, which I think is quite fun. It's older than you. It's, yeah, well, I'd hope so. <laughs> so why have we gone for 335 and hollow bodies? We've gone for 335 and hollow bodies because Noel played them. Um, <laughs> as, 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 as did most of the band, That's really. That's a fun fact for the day, <laughs> Noel they played like... them. <laughs> Back in the day, they didn't have much money when they started out in Manchester, so they played on Epiphones, which is what we've got here. But I thought it'd be fun to do Gibsons because when Noel got rich, then he went for Gibson. And arrogant. So, and and arrogant. egotistical. He went for Gibson, so that's so, what we've gone for. So this is early early Oasis on a later Oasis budget. Yeah, that's exactly what this video is. It's early punk Oasis on capitalist Oasis budget. It's brilliant. Oh, feeling supersonic on that one. Excellent. There Some might go. say that that's the ideal. You just have to roll with it. So, why have we chosen these? Well, this one is from 1969. Let's show the viewers. It's very cool. It's got a Bigsby, which obviously Noel wouldn't have used. Hello camera, Noel would not really have used because he's not really a guitarist. Um, <laughs> this one, it's red. Noel plays red ones as well as Union Jack ones, but I thought it's cool. It's from 1988, if the viewers are interested. We do stock a lot of old Gibsons in this shop, so pop on down to Fair Deal if you can. Advertisement over. That's why we've gone hollow bodies, basically. Any other particular reason? They just sound, have a particular as sound. I mentioned that it's red. Yes, several times. So the sound, you've got two humbuckers in there. Um, it's a big, fat sound. Oasis, like in the early days, were quite a punky band. They use a lot of feedback, often on, in live gigs. You can hear a lot of them blasting it out of big, fat martial amps. So these provide that tone, really. You um, said martial amps. I did say martial amps. Um, so should we look at amps? We should look at amps, yeah. Go. You ready? Jamie, where are we? 
We are in the amp section of the shop. We've done a bit of a rejig in the shop in the past few weeks, so pop into the shop. Um, we've got lots of stuff on offer. I would like to show these Marshalls though. They're because cool. because Oasis do marsh. This belongs to our colleague Bren. It's very lovely. It's from 1989 or 88, I believe. I think that we should use this personally because I think it's fantastic. But big but but Bren has stopped us. He says that they didn't use this in the early days of Oasis. They used cheap stuff, which is probably true to be fair. Same so the guitars. In the theme of I want to use a Gibson, but I not an Epiphone, but I want to make it sound quite Oasis the early punky sort of stuff. I think that rather than looking at all these cool Marshall stacks that are nearly as tall as me, we should go and look at the orange stuff because orange, punk, it's quite cheap. It all sort of goes hand in hand. So if you want to follow me for a sec, you'll see all of the cool orange stuff that we've got. So to go back to the budget rig, if you're a kid out there or just getting into guitar or you just don't want to spend too much money, which is fair enough. I would probably go for something like a Crush 12, Crush 35. I think they're fantastic. They're 100 quid, 200 quid for the big one, but they sound great and it will sound as good, really, as what I think we should use for the video, which is the TH30. I think it's about 600 quid, which I think if you're on a, if on a 90s record label budget, it might be tolerable. Mr. Tolerable. Sony, tell me the answer. I don't know. What well, do you think, Harry? Uh, uh, I think early Oasis kind of, and with, a, with my production head on, Ooh. it was quite wasp in a jar, just kind of yeah. big, kind of wall of noise sort of thing. Yeah, I agree. With little to no, night, little to no dynamic range. Yeah, exactly. And you just want big distortion. The orange, great distortion on it, you know, just whack that gain up. I think that's a good way to go. There we go. I think it was very- It definitely might be. Definitely, maybe. Maybe. But definitely, maybe the way to go. Um, I think we should use that. I think it'd be cool. I don't really think that Oasis used much pedals in their early days. I'm sure that they did in the in the later days. I'm not Oasis. even sure they'd do it in the later yeah. days. I think just plug it in. Plug it. So how about we just plug it in and see? Let's have a look. Let's do it. Run. <laughs> <laughs>
and here's Wonderwall. Yeah. And there is the end of our video. How did you find it, Harry? Well, I really enjoyed it. I mean, I, I was a big Oasis fan when I was a kid. Um, I, my mum would put the first album on and I just like blast every single song. Hello. So it must have been great to have a three to four year old just <laughs> screaming, roll with it in the car. But I had a, I had a great time. So, but you were the one who played everything. What did you think? I think that's the more important question. My only view would be, you know, critical, the technology side of it. And I, I was amazing at that. But what did you think <laughs> of your own playing in sound? Um, I, I thought the sound was quite good. It'd be interesting, at this point in the filming, we don't know what it sounds like to you guys. Um, I thought it would, it sounded good in the room. In the room, it was great. Whether it comes across like that in the video, I'm not sure. We did accidentally knock the mic, so I'm sorry if um, it suddenly sounds a bit like this. Um, but I, I thought it was pretty good. I think it'd be interesting to do an Epiphone one at some point in the future, if you're trying to do it on a budget. Our setup, just to say, the guitar, this one is about five grand. The, the amp, probably two grand or so. I, I don't know, all of it combined. A lot of money, which much, Noel has. Much pounds. I think I'm going to put a graphic in over the top now of how much it would cost. Um, but it, I think if you wanted to go down to what would be a budget-friendly thing, an Epiphone is definitely the way to go. 100%. A Crush 15 yeah, what, uh, like is, is definitely... Even one of those Black Star ID cores, we always go back to it in these videos, but they are very, very good. I love the Black Star They're really good. They're really, really good. And that's not just us saying that because we are not paid by Black Star. We are not, sadly. Um, <laughs> but uh, I, think, I, I think out of the bands or guitarists that we've looked at so far on this series, um, Oasis is the one that is just plug it in. It was really easy. Plug it there, in. There was no, sorry Noel, but there's no skill in what you there's do. There's zero this skill in what you do. This is why Oasis broke up. Yeah. Well, that's not and the whole thing it. about putting just a cap on second fret to reinvent a song, that's just lazy. I'm gonna get murdered in the comments, aren't I? Yeah, we always do. Yeah, always do. I'd, li I'd like to apologise to the viewers. It's actually, um, I've, I've heard we're not allowed to play the real versions of songs due to copyright legislation, which is why I'm such a bad guitarist in real life. <laughs> just the best. <laughs> just unstoppable, unbelievable not, playing from this boy. None of what I just said is true. <laughs> <laughs> Well, on that wonderful copywritten note, that law-abiding note, uh, let's leave it there. Here's um, Wonderwall. Oh yeah. Bye everyone. Bye. Yeah, we should do the Wonderwall thing. We could just cut to it, hard cut in the middle. Yeah, of something. Okay. Yeah, that's a good point.